things in life never change. They can get better. The power of the vision is back. Back and better than ever. It's five ninety nine. Mix and match two cheese sandwich types, baby. A juicy char oil double cheeseburger, melty hot ham and cheese sandwich, or crispy homegrown chicken sandwich. Eight cheese plus fries and a drink, all just five ninety nine. Part of the original bag, loaded with handcrafted bread. It's the greatest meal deal for your buck. He 
has a copyright about the nurse. He has moderate taste. He has corporate tax implications. <laughs> that would have been a really good slam dunk for Pamela Hearst. She's squandered it, I think, more than not practice on her. On her front, that she's doubling down on progressive policies, or they're not serving the American people. I'd like to, uh, to most to really point to many major accomplishments of pregnancy of Minnesota. I mean, what most come to mind is draconian policies around COVID and then mishandling the uh, I mean, what's your response to that? Because while the Trump implemented a bevy of progressive policies, including paid family leave, universal school breakfast and lunch, legalization of recreational marijuana use, abortion rights, gun control measures, uh, like universal background checks, red flag laws, I mean, he, he is considered the candidates that were thought to be on this short list. He was pretty happy to come to the campaign saying it's Kamala Harris only even with the liberals. You know, is that really vulnerable in terms of trying to bring on moderate voters? I would love to see the Republicans running as paid family leave and working off their kids being able to work in the new daycare. I mean, who is really talking about those issues that affect middle class America? The swing vote decisions we have to make are going to be suburban women. And when you staff the staff, when you staff um, Jim Walters, the record up against anyone's, he's been a strong middle class family as any governor in this country. And I think, you know, he's got that genuineness. He can walk into a county fair and not, I mean, you wouldn't even probably recognize him if he didn't have some earrings because he looks like Jeremy Nagel. And so I think as the Republicans may be celebrating today the Nexus campaign in their time, I think that there will be less and less reason for celebrating. Mike, I want to bring in Mike Mears now because we are just talking to voters on the radio about this election all the time. What are you hearing from people in terms of the the lay of the land in general, and how does this pick now affect them? Good question. Um, I was talking about this every day. I'm trying to be here in St. Paul, but it's more happy than I am. Yeah. What is my point of observation in terms of like, this election is going to pick? Uh, the audience is thinking about getting more from home. <laughs> We're obsessed with earning and gaining customer trust. We work hard to make sure that it's easy for customers to leave honest reviews. At the same time, we want to make it hard for competitors to take advantage of Snapflex's trusted shopping experience. When a customer clicks write review, machine learning models immediately begin assessing the authenticity of the review based off thousands of data points stemming from over 25 years of review models, helping inform the purchase decisions of millions of other customers around the world.
is on Miss Ginsburg. What kind of names have you taken to try to get people to sense you were enslaved in America before the end of the Civil War? ABC News has talked to the to help bring you some of their stories. How Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas went on a personal journey to discover his family tree in the dark chapter of the nation's history. Here's the story. Help us hear these plantations and these our ancestors live in those enslaved people. Out in the hundreds in West Virginia, they was enslaved. It took us under 10 million names back then to continue to do not give a message of less enslaved people, tracing it to genealogy of cleaning to what is known as Green Bonnet. It was a massive 4,500 acre plantation operating in the country just before the Civil War. They stopped to learn it was underway in a bit of plant and infamous Confederate case. Albert Gallatin G. Harvard graduate and former congressman, Confederate member, a staunch supporter of slavery, kept him in prison, dreaming of doing more than valuable lives. Also, my great great grandmother, Adonai Zuba, the daughter of Charles, born into slavery in 1858. According to the Shinmei Nate research team, it's very likely Adonai is the biological daughter of her enslaved, J.J. Kinsella. So today, here tonight, they see a future death. Walking to the Jacob Plantation, they have slipped on home of your great great grandmother, Adonai. It's a blessing to be here. I think in its height, how many enslaved, probably in the 80s or 100. And unfortunately, slave labor made the Jacobs family rich. Rich indeed. And Congress Jacobs made it clear he would be slavery with the Mexican family affair. Now, slavery was the alpha and omega Quote, being a member of an anti 